When I first started trying to flip, there was a massive amount of information to go through. My biggest hurdle was item tracking. It was hard to pinpoint which items would do well, what items to look for, and how to easily sort them. Most of the time, I would be going off of hunches, which was fine when there wasn't a grand exchange tax. Now that that has been implemented, it's even tougher to make sure that you're getting the right information. So my goal this video is to dilute that information and make it as easy to process as possible. So if you stumbled onto this out of sheer curiosity, have no idea what flip is or just have nothing better to do, welcome. Now, how did I make my flipping easier? Well, it wasn't so much me. The old school wiki team partnered with RuneLight and created a near real-time database of items on the GE. Now, if you haven't visited it before, it is prices.runescape.wiki. Alternately, you can open up an item on the old school RuneScape wiki, and if you click on the grand exchange button down on the bottom right, it will also take you to the specific item page. More on that in just a second. Once you're at the homepage, there is quite a bit of information to sort through. I will boil this down to six key features that will help you tremendously while flipping. We're first going to take a look at the all items page. Once you're here, it shows you all of the items. At the top of the page are the first two features I wanted to talk about, columns and filters. The column tab is really nice because you can filter out some unneeded information and focus in on the data that's relevant to you. This is how I have mine set up and I hope it works for you. Now, right underneath columns, we have the filters and you can further hone in on the items you'd like to flip using these filters as well. One of my favorites is actually taking the sell price and putting that as the cash limit for whatever item you're looking for. That makes it quick Quick and convenient so all the items that you can afford are in one tidy place. Once you have your columns and filters set up, you can go to the top of the column and set by ascending or descending depending on the value in the column. Now you may have noticed the little hearts that are next to the items. And that brings me to the third feature I wanted to talk about, favorites. Favorites is great because you can curate a list of items that is available to you immediately upon logging onto the site. No need for searching or sorting. One other giant benefit in favorites is that you can export and import lists of items on your favorites page. So to export a certain list, you just click the export button and it will ask you where you want to save your file. It typically saves to downloads on default. So if you can't find it, check there. When you open up the file, it's going to have a lot of characters characters like this open up in a notepad. Each of these numbers represents an individual item code. From here, you can hit save as and title the text document, anything you'd like. We'll call this one large margin flips. Now to recall this list, you go to import, select your list and open. When you open the list, you'll be greeted with these three options, cancel, replace and add to existing. Cancel is pretty self-explanatory. Place will actually replace the list of items that you currently have active. Don't worry, it's not replacing the save file. It's just replacing the list and add to existing will just add an existing list to the list that's currently displayed. Now let's say you want to take a closer look at the Bandos Tassets. Clicking on the item will take it to its specific item page and there's two key things I want to talk about here. The first is finding your grand exchange tax. The margin does not reflect the GE tax. If you want to find the tax out for yourself, simply put in the item price, multiply by 0.01 and you have your GE tax. Further down the page you will see the price history as well as the volume history. These also have filters based on time so you you can look at the current day, seven days, last 30, and six months. If you need more information than that, there's a Grand Exchange database button up at the top, and that will take you to the official page of the item in the old school RuneScape website. For number six, we have a bit of a combo. We're going to be looking at daily volume and margins. The biggest thing you can gain from looking at daily volume is how quick your flip is going to be. When it's higher, it typically is going to take much less time. If it's lower, it may sit at the GE for quite a while. As for the margin, this is the margin per item if you go by the currently traded prices. Using these two together will give you a great idea on how quickly your investment is going to be returned. Now, all of this is going to help you flip more successfully and give you better direction when you're looking for items to flip. If you want to improve your overall bank, check out this video here and combine it with this method to never go broke again. Thanks for watching guys and happy scaping.